Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes with a quick tip. It's common to have to replace some of your cross members, especially on an old boat like this, if they're bent or anything else, or you just want to reinforce and go stronger. Sometimes all you can find at the metal yard is square tubing. This is great because this is eighth inch walled, which when we have two vertical walls of eighth inch, we get a quarter inch of structure. That's a lot of uh, support for downward pressure in the middle of the cross member. In order to secure this, what I've done is I've drilled a 5 16 hole. I'm gonna use 5 16 hardware to hold this together to the bracket. Then I'm gonna take a step bit. This is a big step bit. It goes all the way to an inch and three eighths. And I'm gonna go ahead and open my hole on top. My hole goes all the way through my tube into the bracket down here. So I'm gonna open up the top hole. And I'm gonna get it just big enough for my socket to fit down through so that I can tighten. I'm then gonna run my stainless hardware up through the bottom. I'm use a pair of hemostats. Needle nose pliers will work too to set that washer on. And then I can do the same to hold my nut in place while I get that tight. And if you look down from the top, now I've got that nut started on my bolt. All I need to do is put my socket on there and a wrench from the bottom side. Now I've got everything tightened down with that added support of my square tube. I'm gonna do the same. This one will get two bolts. If I were working a transom into this, I would do the same thing to integrate the transom in as well. But this way I can use square tubing Still get at my hardware to get those cross members secured in. Remember, use stainless hardware. On this type of thing, I like to use a nylock or locking nut. That way it stays in place forever. Hope this helps on your restoration project.